Hi guys, welcome back to Channel Master S3. So in front here, this is the full action plastic model kit, which is a new company produce this kit. So this kit name will be Combat Armor the Devil Leg Door, which we paint the white part to the black part. So overall, let's review some of the kit parts here. So this will be the extra face, there is a 4 face given. Make sure you cut out this part during the assemble. So here are some of the extra part. So for this part is the inner part of the chest here. Which is connected to the body. So this is the part whereby used to connect the shoulder so we use the skin color part instead of the white part because the skin color part just look actually much better so this will be the skirt so this is the skirt for the dress dress part so this is the extra hair for the dress version So here will be some of the extra part. This part, those part here is actually skin color tone. So this will be the part used to assemble the dress version. So this is the white part, assemble the dress version. So this will be the feet of the dress version. So here is also the light part of the dress version, the feet. And this is the bonus part, the pink color part. So you may assemble this in a red color or pink color. So this part here is actually those weapon part here. Same goes to this, will be the front part of the sword here. So this is the chest for the for the dress version so this is the weapon the big ball at the back here so this is the dress this is the feet the body the front chest armor so the back body the head head armor which is this part here so this is the front skirt this is the weapon part here So this is the additional bonus part, pink color part, which you all can see. So you may assemble this kit in a full red color with white color part or full pink color with white color part. So this will be some of the extra part here, which is actually the weapon part used to make this part here. So these are those extra hand which we paint all of it. So this is the extra hand. Very nice looking hand, very correct articulation wise. Open plum, close plum, all the hand is given. So now let's look into the kit itself. For this weapon is actually quite heavy. This will be the main weapon. So you can't actually take it out. As you can see the ball joint here is actually quite loose. The weapon may fall off anytime so we will take it off first. Because we worry that this part fell off and break some of the part so what you have to be careful of for this kit will be this hole here the connector for the 
for the face armor this hole here make sure you drill it drill bigger a bit to fit it correctly as you can see here there is even some gap even we drill it so this part here actually quite loose so make sure you use it by force or maybe you can just gum it so this part actually very loose so this is the backpack so during the assemble of the chest part make sure you fit in correctly as the hole may move anytime due to this part here is movable the part which connect to the shoulder so for this ball joint here which connect to the shoulder make sure you guys send it we have a big trouble when we assemble this during our after custom paint we assemble the part so this part here does not actually very fit in we do a lot of sanding to make sure it fit in correctly so as you can see the hand can be moved it can be moved up down but the connector is actually quite hard to move you can turn it 360 degree for sure so this will be the end part you can see some of the gap here so this part is movable and for this part here you can see there is some of the gap so it cannot close properly so this is one of the connector for the hand. Make sure you send both of the ball joint for the shoulder as both of it does not fit correctly actually. So there's one more small polycap part, the K part here which connect inside the body. This part here does not fit correctly as well. So you may need to do it by force and please be careful when you connect this part here to the ball joint this is a very thin connector as you can see this is a very thin connector which connect to a very small ball joint polycaps it's quite loose actually but if you use a little force you may also break the connector so please be careful so this is the back skirt it can be moved up down this is the that you guys see this is a very nice articulation on the butt itself for a full action plastic model kit you can see there's actually the butt here So this light part, this part here, have to be really careful, the connector inside. This part can fit correctly, but be careful as the connector may break anytime. So this is the polycap joint, the K part, which we will call it as a polycap joint because it is designed like a polycap. So this is the light, as you can see. The seam line here. Let's get it closer. You can see actually there is a gap here. So it's actually hard to fit correctly in. Even we press by force, you can see there is some gap here. So the light can be moved upwards, downwards, but please be careful as the connector inside here is actually quite tight. But it's a good thing due to the tightness of the connector the light is very solid as you can see it does not turn anyway so this part here be careful during the assemble part the assemble time this is a very sharp part and the connector is actually very small the connector is actually very small here So this will be the light part. This is a front light armor. This part here is actually red color. 
So this is a red part. So for this part here, it's actually a black part. We repaint it to silver color. It look quite nice with this yellowish clear part here. So as you can see here, will be the connector for the light itself. There are some gaps, both light. But overall, after we paint it to a very glossy black color, which we name it as the Devil Lake door, is the slope very very special okay very very devilish okay so this part here is actually quite loose but the connector at the light is actually quite tight as you can see if we just try to move it with a light strength it does not actually move so we have to twist it harder a little bit so the articulation wise as you can see here this part here does block the articulation for the feet itself but overall for the standing it's actually very solid as you can see but for the gap itself for a new third party company is perhaps acceptable as you can see here all the gaps on the hand on the light but overall the kit itself is quite okay just that some of the part is very loose and some is very tight especially on the shoulder part try not to break that and also the sex skirt so we put this aside and we take a look at the weapon so this is actually a spear which look like this there will be two parts here actually So this is actually a ball joint, a ball which can be used to connect to the back of the body. So this, let's take the knife part off first. So this will be how it looks like this after you open it up. Be careful when you assemble this, the connector is actually quite tight so be careful try not to push too hard you may break the connector on the red part to the black part here the small part here but this part we repaint to a silver color a chrome color so actually look much better from the original silver or so called gray color so this can be opened up Part here can be opened up as you can see. Oh, this design is actually quite nice. It's not like a red frame tactical arm, extra red frame, which from the Gunpla series. But a little disappointment will be this part here, as you all can see. This part is very empty. They can actually make a cover here to cover the spear part, but this is not very empty. So this part here just slide it into the center, and you can open this up. something look like this when holding it up so now let's look into the manual which we didn't look into it earlier but we did mention there are some correction part this will be the head part no correction part we try to mark all we can 
as you can see here this will be the back skirt part which actually not i23 will be i17 if there is no mistake made on our correction So overall here, there is no any extra correction I think. Let's move to the next page. So this, this part here will be step number 4. So for this part here, there is also correction. It will be extra part which is G28 and G29. And for this part here, it's not D6, it will be D2. So this will be one of the weapon, the extra one. So the extra part will be G23 and G24. And this part here will be H24 instead of H7. There is no extra H7. There is one H7 and one H24. So this will be extra G25 which is actually this part here. So this will be the dress version of the full action model kit. So we try to make this part actually but the K part given is only one so we can actually make another set for this one even the hair and the body is given extra there is no extra body cap for us to make the other part here so it's better if the company can give extra 1k part so that we can change the part as the part is very hard to be snapped in so you may not want to disassemble it later on after you assemble this kit to the armor version. Please make a wise decision before you assemble this kit, whether you want the dress version or the armor version. So this will be the water slide decal instruction. Which we didn't actually make the part, the decal to the kit itself. Let's give you guys the view of this will be the dress version which earlier we had show in the box during the unboxing as well so you may refer back to the video which we leave in the link down below so overall for this new company for this kit I can say I will give a average mark for a new bootleg model overall it's quite okay just that the snap fitting issue have to be fixed as you can see all the gaps here is kind of a disappointment but if you look far far away you actually can't see any gaps uh. so overall if this is a white color it will be look like this so we change it change the color to black color to a full gloves black but still for the snap fit part we didn't actually paint all those part we didn't we try to minimize the painting to the snap fit so that we can show you guys the actual snap fit for the white color So that's all from us, a short review for this new new full action plastic model kit which is quite okay as you can see here parts falling off so please be careful try not to move too much for this kit after you assemble place it somewhere safe and try not to make any other posts 
you may change the pose to a single pose but try not to make too much pose for this kid so that's all from us we hope you will like our video share our channel and subscribe to our channel see you guys in the next video thanks guys